Hi, this is Julia. Um, I wanted to show you guys some quick application tips. Um, so when you start with your strip, this is actually half a sheet, you're going to hover it over your nail. And because they're clear plastic, it's really easy to see through. Um, so you want to kind of line them up and see which, which goes kind of close to the cuticle but not over. You, you don't want it to be touching the cuticle because you want to have a nice seal airtight and watertight so that it doesn't peel off and it'll last much longer. So I already have one cut here so you guys can see and it makes it a little bit quicker. Um, and so each of these you cut them in half or three depending on how long your nails are. So for me I cut mine off, I cut one off and then I cut it in half. So to begin you're gonna take your orange stick um, these come in the the kits or what I did when I didn't have anything, I just took a Q-tip, a regular plastic Q-tip, not a cotton, and just cut it. And very similar. Um, these you will have to kind of throw away almost every time, uh, but these, these wooden sticks last pretty well, so I'd recommend these for, for longevity. So you want to take your little, your little nail, and I kind of scoop it right underneath the corner. I go at the, the corner part because this is most likely the part you're going to be cutting off, um, whereas the rounded part on the very bottom, that will be touching the area of your cuticle. So that, that way I don't have to touch this and it's, it'll be much more adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and blow my blow dryer for about three to five seconds. So you can see my stuff kind of flew around everywhere, so that's why I really like the mini heater. So what you're now going to do is you kind of peel it off, keep your finger on the very tip so you don't ruin it. Um, it takes me a little longer to do this because I'm so adamant about how I want it to lay. So you press it in there. And the top of this is, it's you don't have to put any coating on top of it. It just is already covered. So then you take your cuticle, your rubber cuticle pusher, and you want to get that, kind of smooth it around the edges. Sorry if you guys can't see. Um, you can see in the mirror a little. So you want to push it into and around your cuticle or under your cuticle. Um, and if the nail wraps are too wide, you can trim them, but I would recommend trimming them before you put them on your nail. So some people take a piece of tape and lay it on their nail and, and trace it and then cut around the, the jamberry nail. But luckily for me, all my fingers fit except for my ring finger, which is why I haven't done it yet. So that I always do last because it takes a little more time to cut it all. So now that I've got it mostly sealed around the edges, around the cuticle, what I'm going to do is take my handy nail scissors. I'll just get around the edges so that's very close to where my actual nail is. That way you have to file less. And now you want to take your nail file and you want to do downward strokes because the end of your, your jamberry is still not attached to your nail yet. It's not sealed. So you want to create a downward motion at about 90 degree angle. Um, I slightly go inwards a little at the very top to create more of a, a slope, like a 45 degree angle. You can see over here. So that just slight, a little bit of my nail will peek out on the bottom. Not too much that it's noticeable, but just enough so that your, your wrap is completely adhered to your nail and won't won't flick up because there's a corner hanging over. So you want to make sure you get all your corner edges out and don't file your other nails. That's I've done that before. So you want to kind of pay attention to what you're doing. You want to get in those corners. I'm going to give it a final push with my cuticle pusher. These are the, the rubber ones that come in the kits, and they're very, very handy. So we'll give that a final. Here goes the blow dryer again. It 
It's a little more difficult with the blow dryer. Um, what I found out is because you kind of have to manage it with two hands. I've had them fall off the tables. That's where the, the mini heater comes in very, very handy. You just have to turn it on and then hold your nail up to it and then go right into pushing your, your nail on. That way you save time and less worry about things falling off the table. And there you have it. So all of mine come to the edges. Um, I've, I've cut the ones I've needed to, but for me, it, it takes me a little longer. You could do these much, much faster, but for me, I'm a perfectionist, and I like them to come all the way to the edges. Um, that way it gets a really nice seal, and that way you can't see any of my nail. But it is better to err on the side of small versus larger, because then you're going to not have a nice tight fit with the, the water sealing. So, and if you're wondering, these ones are actually the same as my gold and silver fade. I'm covered them with a black noir, which is a, a black lace. So I can actually put these over any color, even just my nude nail. Um, and you can put these on top of lacquer or polish. For me, I just put them on my regular nail, and I wiped them off with these handy Jamboree um, cleaning wipes. Or you could always just use some regular rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide, but you just want to remove all of the oil. Um, and after that, after you get them all nice and packed in and dry, well, you just, they don't actually dry, they're already, they're already a sticker, but it's really good to do some cuticle care around your, your cuticles, so. That's all I have. Hope you guys thought that was helpful. So there's some quick at home, but the, the kit is very useful. For example, look how quiet this is. This is the mini heater. So. All right, and that's all I have. So ask me any questions if you guys have anything. Thanks.